All right, so this is the video to walk um, those of you who are interested through the process I go through to relax my hair. And I'm kind of all over the place with how long I go in between relaxers. I was um, stretching them out a bit longer when I was pregnant, and then since um, I've had my son, I kind of just haven't been real consistent. Um, well, I think I've only relaxed my hair twice. I relaxed it in June, so um, like a month after he was born, and then I relaxed it most recently in December. I was, I think, a little over six months post-relaxer at that point. Um, for now, I'm thinking I'm going to do 16-week stretches, um, somewhere between 14 and 16 weeks, so... We'll just kind of see how that goes. But anyways, the purpose of this video is just to show you what I do when I actually do relax. <clears throat> so um, a couple days, usually two days before I know I'm going to relax my hair, I start prepping for it. And what I do is I will... Um, put my hair in four sections and detangle it. Um, to do that, I will have my white tooth comb and also... Um, if I need help detangling, my detangler of choice is um, the Main Intel Detangler. This is an oldie but goodie. I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with, with this particular detangler, but it works really well for me. Um, so I'll use that. Um, that same day when I'm detangling my hair really well, I will go ahead and thoroughly oil my scalp um, and I usually use my olive oil which I keep in a um, little uh, what do you call this hair color applicator bottle um, and I use I usually always have this brand which is just the Trader Joe's olive oil extra virgin olive oil they're all the same though um, and I'll just go through and really oil my scalp really well um, I don't want to say I have a super sensitive scalp, but I think that just helps protect it and also a little bit gets on the hair so that I can ensure that I'm not going to um, help to not over process my hair basically. Um, so that's what I do usually like I said two days before um, I relax and then in between those two days um, between doing that and relaxing I'm really making sure not to manipulate my hair too much. It's usually just up in a bun. I'm not combing, none of that. Just really low manipulation with the hair up until the day of the relaxer. So on relaxer day, I will go ahead and coat the ends of my hair with any petroleum-based product. It could be Vaseline, it could be a grease, um, whatever you have. Um, I just coat my hair, the ends of my hair, um, probably up to <laughs> really high up. Um, not obviously the new growth itself, but um, I just thoroughly coat the ends of my hair with any petroleum-based product that I have on hand. Um, I then go ahead and put my hair into those four sections again and begin relaxing. Now I choose to begin relaxing in the middle of my head um, just because that is where my coarser hair is and um, I like to start getting it straightened first because it's going to take the most um, time to relax. So again, I uh, for those of you who don't know, I do use the Mazzani Butter Blends. Um, this is the mild formula and it's also the new formulation. It's the one that has HG on it. Um, so this is what I use to relax my hair. I go ahead and process my hair. Um, it usually takes me 20 minutes from start to finish to do my hair and I do do it at all together at one process. I don't do half, rinse, and then do the other. I just do the whole thing at once, which is why it usually takes a, a whole 20 minutes for me to get it all through my hair. Once it's in my hair, I usually go back through it one time just to smooth it. Um, so um, that is that, and that is included in that 20 minutes, the smoothing part. So after that, um, I will rinse out the relaxer, make sure it's thoroughly rinsed. Um, I it takes me probably longer to rinse it out than it does for me to even put the relaxer in my hair because I am just um, really thorough about getting all of it out of my hair. So once I have completely um, rinsed the relaxer out of my hair, my next step is to use the keratin two minute 
uh, Reconstructor by Affigy. This is just a mild protein treatment. And I do that to put some protein back into my hair because the relaxer basically just breaks down the proteins in your hair. Um, so I like to replace some of that by using this as my first step after relaxing. Um, and I usually just use that, leave that in for like two to five minutes and then rinse it out. After that, I go ahead and use my um, neutralizing shampoo, which is the corresponding shampoo for, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Um, it's the Mazzani Butter Blends Balance Hair Bath. It's a neutralizing and chelating shampoo. And it also has that uh, color indicator that turns pink when um, relaxer is still being detected in your hair. So I really like how this works and how it leaves my hair feeling afterwards. Then after that step, I will start uh, my deep condition. And I like to use a conditioner that has some protein in it. Um, just again to put some of that back into my hair. And usually the one I go for is the olive oil. Um, replenishing conditioner and I'll usually leave that on for about an hour probably if longer longer um, with a plastic cap on I don't usually get under the dryer with it but if you want it to and you have the time that's a good idea um, and then lastly I just use my leave-in conditioners which are the same from um, what video was that I think it was a regimen video, but I'll just show them again just in case you're interested. And I do use a lot of leave-in conditioners. Um, it's probably not necessary, but I've been using them and I, I don't want to change it. So I do use the Affigy Keratin in Green Tea Reconstructurizer. And also the Pro Vitamin Leave-In by Affigy. And <laughs> the Leave-In Conditioner by Caracare. So I use all three of those, and not very much, just a very little, um, throughout my hair. And then as a last step, I will use this Moroccan oil hair treatment. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really bright in my room. I'm sorry. Um, as a last step, I will run that, this through my hair. So that is my relaxer process. Um, if I'm going to blow dry and flat iron my hair, um, my two heat protectants of choice are the Carol's Daughter, uh, what is this called? Blow dry cream, so I use this one before I blow dry relaxer day or not <laughs> and then for a heat protectant before any kind of heat tool like a flat iron I use the Carol the Slaughter Macadamia heat protection serum so hopefully you can see that and these two products are a little bit new to my stash um, but if you are interested in a review on either or both of these products thumbs up this video because I would love to rave about them for you um, so yeah, that is my relaxer process. Again, I usually, um, I plan to relax every 14 to 16 weeks now. Um, I made waist length a couple weeks, not a couple weeks, a couple months back, and I trimmed my hair. I cut off two inches, but I'm happy to report it's already starting to grow back, so, um, I plan to cut it again or trim it again um, in April when I relax again. I won't be relaxing, I think, until like around April 21st or so. Um, so this year for me is about um, getting rid of those bone straight relaxed ends that I have. So I'm looking forward to doing away with those completely this year. That's my that's my focus. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful to someone. If you have any questions, um, any other questions about my process or anything else, um, be sure to leave a comment below and I will see you on the next video. Oh, and um, I do have a giveaway coming up still. It'll probably be in a couple weeks. It's to correspond with my three year hair anniversary, which is the 28th, I believe, of February. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for that. And again, I will see you guys later. Bye bye.